Um, hello there, aspiring tenors. Uh, so this video, ah, shit intro, <laughs> do over. Hello there, aspiring tenors. This video is a bit different. It's just me talking to the camera. I'm going to be talking about my horrible nightmare uh, computer repair. How this motherfucker have been causing me so much pain. Okay, that's a little bit melodramatic, but it came at the least opportune moment. I also have some announcements that I have to make. There'll be timestamps if you don't want to hear the story, whatever. Or, you know, you don't want to hear the announcement. You can just skip whatever. Um, I also just need to talk to you about some stuff that it's been plaguing me that I, that I haven't been more transparent. Um, yeah, but, you know, I'm going to try and justify why I haven't. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the nightmare repair. So a little bit of background before I get into the nightmare repair itself. I've mentioned this on stream on and off, but most people don't watch the streams and um, also a very small minority actually watched through. But I just moved into a apartment that's three times the size the previous apartment I had and I'm paying the same rent. So there you go. But um, no, I just moved. Moving is exciting, but it's also very stressful. And so what happened was that it would have cost a smaller fortune if I had to hire a company to come and move my stuff. I don't have that much. Um, so basically my dad elected to come and help me, which was great. I do appreciate that very much. However, another family member at the same time also were moving and they needed to have some improvements made to the home before you know they moved all of the furniture in. And my dad has had also promised that he would help with that project. And I then, I guess, <laughs> was dragged into helping as well. Not that I mind, of course. Uh, the thing is, this was happening at the same time. And basically, I had to be out of my apartment one and a half hours before I had to be here to receive this new apartment. So it just wasn't, you know, that wasn't plausible. So ideally, my dad would have moved me the day before or maybe the same day. And then I had some friends who could, you know, handle the, you know, whatever. Um, that didn't really work because of the close approximation of the two uh, moves that was happening at the same time. So I had to, uh, eight days before, I had to move back to my parents for a week, which was fun. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, I like my parents, but I mean, who want to live with their parents, right? As an adult, who want to live with their parents. Anyways, um, I go there and my dad, he was kind enough. He set up his workshop so that I could use it as a YouTube studio so that I could keep producing videos while I was living with them for a week. So I get there and I get my computer set up and I managed to record one video and you can see it's the one where I'm in my dad's workshop and you can see me kicking the desk trying to stop my computer because um, the cooling fan, and this is the whole problem, the cooling fan inside of the computer uh, I don't know what happened. I think I think it was shook loose ever so slightly, but when it's spinning at such incredibly high speeds, even the slightest imbalance, it was making the most horrible like <laughs> sound. And it was just, it was terrible. It was like a plane taking off in the background. <laughs> this is a good microphone. It's really good at uh, directional uh, input. So it, it takes in my speech clearly because I'm in front of the microphone, but everything that's happening behind the microphone, it doesn't really pick up nearly as well. So I was able to get through that video, but it was getting worse to the point where even this microphone couldn't handle it. It was so loud. It was just like recording with it or just working with it for half an hour. I would have a splitting headache. It was, it was actually bad. So whatever it, it has to be changed. And if the, it, it's this fan, right? This is a 12 times 12 times, I think two and a half centimeter. 12 volt cooling fan with a two pin molex um that's important later on so keep that in mind i take the computer apart i try all try moving the power intake around it's not helping uh, it will stop for a little while and then we'll start making the noise again and i'm losing my mind so eventually i i don't know that much about computers i'm not that tech savvy when it comes to hardware i'm decent with software but hardware i'm kind of lost but I, I had to fix it. So eventually I just throw up my hands and I say, you know what, it's broken anyways, right? I take it apart. I take the power supply apart. The warranty on the computer had run out anyways. Uh, I take it apart and it immediately becomes obvious that it's it's this fan that's the problem. And I'm like, okay, that's not that big of a deal. 
it's attached by four screws in each corner of the power intake. I'll just remove it, right? How hard can it be? Uh, it turns out quite difficult because once you remove it, it's inside a box. Like the power supply is a solid cube. And it, um, I mean, not solid, but it is a cube that you can't just reach into. And this thing just drops to the bottom of the cube. I'm like, that's not helpful. So then now I have to take the entire power supply apart, which is, a, it's a process. Um, but I get in there and I'm able to remove, it's like two uh three sides that's sort of stacked on top of each other and then locked by the sides whatever i managed to take it apart i look at it for a little while and i'm like okay it's attached by one cable that's the two pin molex um and i'm thinking to myself okay that's fine i can replace the fan plug it back in screw it back on before i attach the top half of the power intake and then everything's gonna be fine right it wasn't fine. So then next I go ahead and I order this, which is a 12 by 12 by two and a half centimeters, 12 volt, three pin Molex. This here is my problem. And I have not been able to find a three to two pin Molex adapter. So uh, long story short, I have this really high quality fan that fits perfectly in my computer and would have solved all my problems, but I can't connect it because this here, this doesn't fit in the power intake. It only accepts two Molex uh, pins. So, okay, well, shit, right? That really sucks. Luckily, it wasn't that expensive. Replacing a cooling fan shouldn't be expensive. They're not expensive. It is, you know, it's, it's a piece of plastic with a small motor inside of it and two cables. It's not complicated at all <laughs> um you think uh but then but so after that i go on the hunt and i find a another cooling fan and this one is a 12 by 12 by two and a half 12 volt and it's a and it's two cables so i'm like right it looks exactly like the one i have right here perfect i'm gonna order it i order it it shows up at my house well not not really i had to go and get it but whatever now i have it i look at it and there is no adapter at the end it's just two cables flailing in the wind it's like i can't I, I can't use this right well i mean i probably could it is entirely possible that i could have welted this into the power supplies and or not welted but you but you know what i mean um and that way uh, it probably could have worked, but the problem then is that every time, if I ever have to replace it again, then I have to try and get all of the tin out of the computer first, because you melt the tin uh, and then you connect the two uh, cables directly to the power intake, right? So it's going to be a hell if I ever have to try and replace this again. Not to mention, I'm not sure I know how this works. There's a very good chance that I might just short circuit my computer. So I'm not going to do that. Well, okay, fuck. Now I have two cooling fans that I can't use for anything. I Well, I actually think I can use the first one to replace the other. But whatever, that's, that's not the point, right? So at this point, I'm just, I'm losing my mind because there's no uploads. I have all the time in the world on my hands. I have to do nothing else than make YouTube videos while I'm here living with my parents, living the high life, right? So already I'm I'm about to explode. It's so frustrating, right? I even have videos that already has been produced, as you will see in the coming days, but there's no thumbnails and I can't get to them because they're on a computer right now uh, on like a storage, which I can't get to because the power supply doesn't work, so I can't get to it. <laughs> so finally I just throw up my hands and I say, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna get exactly the same cooling fan I, which was originally in this power intake. So I go online and I find a Yuhong traditional 12 by 12 by two and a half, 12 volt, two pin Molex. And I order it. Now the problem is that they only produce these in China. And you know, this is a relatively inexpensive 
uh, I guess, I mean, you know, they probably don't send that many of these. So I'm not going to be able to just have this in a couple of days, even with like express delivery, it's going to take some amount of time. Um, but I accept this. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just not going to be able to use my computer for the next two weeks. This sucks. Goodbye. All momentum on YouTube. Uh, you know, and you know, also I don't, I'm not going to have a computer for the next two and a half weeks. Um, but I order it. And then the next morning I get a confirmation email, like the next morning, not the same day, but in the same hour or minute or whatever, I get it the next day. So probably it had to be manually approved. And it's like, yeah, your product will be with you in 90 days. Not 19, 90. So I cancel that real fast. And so now I'm back to square zero. Finally, I call in to pro shop with i mean i love those guys i'm not sponsored by them but, but i mean i appreciate the support and i say i need this and this and this and this and it, it has to be specifically this do you have anything that matches this and it's like yeah we do have one but it's uh in the united states so it's gonna take a couple of days i'm like whatever it's united states that's faster than china probably and it was it took four days the problem is it was a 12 by 12 by 25, yes, and it was 12 volt, and yes, it was a two pin, but it was so much more than just a two pin, because first up, you have the actual two pin molex that goes into the computer, then you have another email adapter that extends from that uh, mail adapter, and then also you have an entire third cable, which is a three pin to three pin extender and a three pin mail. Like, what is this? What is this? Where does this go? I don't need this. So, uh, <laughs> and I probably should have done this, but I was contemplating just um, cutting off the uh, wires that I didn't need and then putting a little bit of duct tape at the end, you know, so that I don't somehow short circuit something. Um, because it's all, it's all output. The only input is the two pin Molex that I need to connect to the power intake. I didn't do this because I was like, it feels really wrong to cut these cables. So instead what I did was that right now there is about three cables in my power supply that doesn't have to be there, which is glued to the inside of the case. <laughs> and it works flawlessly. I have had no problems since doing this, but it took 10 days to fix something with if I had been smart about it, it could have been fixed in three. So yeah, that's why I took a hiatus. And then uploads has also been a little bit slow and a little bit sloppy since then. Because, well, I've moved, right? So I'm still sort of settling in. Uh, and work starts tomorrow, so that's great. And that takes us to the second half of this video, which is a couple of announcements that I have to make. So I have a list here, and I'm just going to go through it. Just so that I don't forget to mention anything. First off, finally starting work tomorrow. That's going to be pretty good. It's going to be uh, night work at night. I don't know what that's called. Uh, so it pays pretty damn well, everything considered. And that will allow me to also focus on YouTube. I had actually put aside. Um, I, that's not the next point, but I'll talk about it now. I put aside around 10 months. So until the start of next year to do YouTube and just to see how well I do. Um, just to pursue that a little bit. Not that I thought that I'd be able to make a living from playing Warframe within a year, or I, I didn't have any expectations of that. It would have been nice, but again, that would have been a little bit ridiculous. So essentially, I just wanted to see how well I could do and then see if it was something which I wanted to pursue further. And if I wanted to take another year working and just you know, get away a little bit, or if I wanted to start uh, educating myself again, hopefully with some of the money that I saved up while also doing YouTube, or if I wanted to drop YouTube altogether. Um, now, so far, that hasn't really been going too, too well. And so, as you've seen, there's been a bit of a slowdown. And for the next week, there should be videos every day because some of the delayed videos will be coming now when, it, you know, They've been delayed, but they're here now. Um, another thing is that with Warframe, 
I am feeling fatigued. Uh, and I think like a lot of you are like the views seems to reflect that the discord seems to reflect it. And it's, you know, it's been a while since we had an update and especially some of the veteran players who are level, um, or master rank 20 plus, I get the feeling that you don't really know what you want to do. And I get the same feeling. I was on a building high, trying a lot of new builds that I've neglected in the past. But now I definitely feel myself hitting that wall a little bit. And so because of that, I can't promise that I'll do daily videos because I just don't know what to talk about. And making uh, videos for the sake of making videos seems a little bit silly. I don't want to become Popska. Um, then I have been playing an unhealthy amount of Path of Exile. So I'm going to experiment with that and make a uh, Path of Exile video in the style of how profitable is it um just to just just test the waters so don't worry i'm not becoming a, a poe channel i just want to test the waters a little bit because uh warframe and poe right now is in a cycle where you get a new league and then halfway through that you get an update to warframe and then when that starts to die out then you get a new league so maybe i could jump back and forth a little bit um that's just, it's just an idea. And I do want to hear uh, your thoughts on this down in the comments. Um, I'm like, I'm genuinely curious. Then we're going to talk about stress. This is not a fun topic for me. And it's really tough for me to talk about because up until recently, I sort of had the mentality of, uh, oh, you're stressed. Well, then just tough through it because I figured that willpower was enough to get through this kind of stuff but it just isn't i um started and an uh, education on university which um i let let's say that i had romanticized it a little bit and i wasn't doing well i was the opposite of thriving um and it really i mean it i think it broke me a little bit because i got so stressed uh, especially towards the end that I just started to shut down. I won't say that suicide was ever something that I contemplated because it really wasn't, but it was to the point where if I decided to keep going with it for another half a year, that could have been the outcome. But so luckily I was able to see just how damaging this was to me. It came at a time where we had to study uh, from home and Especially, well, the study I was doing was English. <laughs> that doesn't reflect in my ability to speak English, but anyways. Um, and I was just sitting at home reading these texts from four or five hundred years ago uh, alone for 10 hours a day. So it felt like I was very busy because I was, you know, doing, uh, I was working on university on, on you know, trying to do well. Um for many, many hours a day. But at the same time, because I was just sitting at home reading these texts most of the time, or, you know, writing a report or something like that, uh, when I went to bed, it also felt like I was doing nothing. And so ultimately this uh, resulted in me uh, dropping out of university at a point where I'd become very much so indeed depressed. Uh, it was to the point where I... It wasn't that I couldn't feel joy right if i was watching something funny i was still able to laugh at it but yeah, and also if i was with friends in the moment uh you know while in their company generally speaking i was able to be energetic and you know i was able to be there i wasn't quite that depressed the problem was that as soon as i wasn't occupied by watching something or playing something or being with friends every time i was allowed to be with my thoughts it was um I'm sorry. It was really dark. And I was just immediately dragged down into this sensation, this feeling of just not being well, right? Of being sad and I guess depressed, right? And it was so uncontrollable because I was, you know, there was so much good stuff happening around me. I have a lot of friends, believe it or not, and I have family around me who support me. So there was really no reason for me to be sad or depressed, but I just couldn't help it. And that almost made it even more frustrating because you keep telling yourself you should just be happy, right? But I wasn't happy. 
and I was unable to be happy for the most part, the vast majority of my day, even after I dropped out of university. So it was around this time, actually, uh, I started YouTube on the 8th of November on my birthday, actually, um, I got myself this horrible Sandberg lavalier microphone. That's what <laughs> the first few videos is recorded on. And I was not in a good place, but I was just trying to occupy myself. And you can tell, right? If you go back and you look at some of my first videos, well, the first couple of videos, I was too nervous um, to, so it didn't really show. But yeah, I mean, you can tell I was a mess, right? Um, because my mental state at the time sort of reflected the physical as well. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about this because in relation to the whole moving thing, with again, it's exciting. It is. But it also is very stressful. And so I had a little bit of a relapse. Nothing serious, but it's just, it took me a few days to recover before I was ready to be in front of the camera again. Uh, I do enjoy making YouTube videos. It isn't just a monetary thing. I really, like, I get I get a lot of joy from it, especially from you guys' comments, and I said this many times before, but I, I really do. It's it's a pastime for me right now that I'm really enjoying and which I want to keep up with. But, um, you know, in relation to work, and in the sense that I'm still in the process of recovery, um, I talked to a psychoanalyst, and they declared... Well, declared that sounds too serious, but they decided that it would probably take me another six months at the time, and that was two months ago, before I should expect to be back to something like normal. And it might take a full year before I have been able to fully move on from it. And I do feel that. That feels pretty honest. I'm feeling better every day, but it doesn't just go away. You know, I still have days where I'm not necessarily doing so well but for the most part now it's actually okay I'm, I'm at a point now where i'm fine i just need time which is why i'm here taking a year off to just work make some money hopefully go back at some point to study or pursue youtube or do something but i just need this break and that's why i'm here now i'm starting to repeat myself so i think i'm gonna end it here don't feel sorry for me because i am okay the worst part is done with now and honestly, I'm just happy to be here. So if I miss a video or two, or if I don't get to responding to the comments right away, I'm a little bit busy, uh, or I will be from tomorrow forward, uh, at least for the next month or month and a half. Um, but know that I still appreciate it, even if I don't manage to answer your comment right away. Anyways, I'm rambling. So I'll just see you in the next one.